Hi guys, so I know that every time I've made a, well, the past like four, mi four videos that I've made, um, the sound and the picture doesn't match up together when I upload it to YouTube, like it's fine when I download it, when I like drag it to my computer, but then when I upload it, it's just really off and it's hard to watch and confusing and annoying and stupid. So I haven't been making videos, but today I was like, I'm going to make one. Um, anyways, so I think, oh, stupid cord, um, I think I successfully figured out a download. I think I chose the right link. Um, I don't know. Um, we'll see. But yeah, I'm trying to watch New Girl Season 2. Um... I don't know, and, um, oh, tomorrow is Emma Grace's one-year birthday, so her first birthday, um, I'm really excited, um, I guess more so I just can't believe it, you know, I can't believe it's been a year since I was pregnant and, like, in the hospital having a baby, like, that's so crazy, you know, um, but I have everything that I'm giving her for her birthday, so I'm gonna go show it to you. Just wait. Okay, so first thing is I have this really nice wooden frame. Wait. Um see it's just nice and this is the picture of Emma and I when I visited in Birmingham when she was six months old kind of hard to see but I've posted this on my uh, on my blog before so this is the picture and the second one is this fancy thing that my sister made for me um, what was really sad is the camera that we I had a week before I had her my mom came to visit and she brought our family camera and um, for some reason, we didn't know this at the time, we actually just found this out like a month ago maybe, but the camera was set, um, I don't know what the setting was, but it made the pi like the pixelation or something, it was set really, really low. So all the pictures came out like thumbnail size. Um, all the pictures that I took when I was pregnant, well, the week before I had her, but I was still pregnant, all the pictures at the hospital, um, like all of them and then all the pictures that I took when I went to visit her at this time um, I emailed them to all to myself but for some reason it didn't work and I lost all these pictures well I have them but they're all like this size too and this was the only one we had and it's still not very clear like if you look at it really close it's still kind of fuzzy so it was just really disappointing that every picture of me and Emma um, is like really small fuzzy I really can't even print them out um, so I was really upset about that because it's like a once in a lifetime thing and it's not like I can take another picture with her like like this is it but anyways my sister uh, did a really nice thing she's a graphic designer and she made this collage of all these pictures so I'll show you this is what it looks like all together and um, it's still blurry but this is a frame I think it's really pretty but there's the picture of me, Mike, and Carrie, and Emma, and then this was right after I had her, this was the day after, um, me when I'm pregnant, because they say it's good to have a picture of you pregnant, like in the adoption booklet, and then this is with my mom and my aunt and me, and this is me and my adoption counselor, so I thought that was a nice little collection, kind of shows everything, and then this is the book I got Emma, it's called, um, Camellia, this book is so cute, so I'll read it to you, and it's like really fun. So it says, most chameleons like to blend in. But not Camellia, and this is her, she's so awesome, I love her. She reminds me of myself as a kid, that's why I got this book. Um. When others zig, Camellia zags. 
When others twist, Camellia shouts. Can you find Camellia? She's this one. When others rock, Camellia rolls. But in her own special way. Sometimes find, figuring out how to stand out can be difficult. So this is her, she doesn't know what to wear. So Camellia makes sure she's ready for every occasion. This is her room. That's her, she looks precious in her little hat. Um, she wants to start every morning in a special way. This is my favorite outfit of Camellia's. It reminds me of, of something I actually have. So this is her outfit. It's like she's wearing like a muumu. I actually have a muumu, so it's pretty awesome. Um, but sometimes things don't go as planned, so she gets on the bus and her thing rips and she's embarrassed. And then it says, her costume for the school play isn't quite right. She's supposed to be Goldilocks, but she dressed up as Cleopatra. And apparently sequins and soccer don't mix. Now instead of standing out, Camellia just feels left out. And she looks really sad and depressed. But Camellia's parents say standing out isn't the only way to feel special. Joining in can be just as fun. Camellia wonders if there's a way to join in and be yourself. She decides to give it a try. So she's playing soccer, and she's in a soccer uniform, but she's still wearing a glitterly bow. And here she's singing and wearing a funny dress. And here she's, and then it says now, even when Camellia blends in, she's in the choir. It says, she knows she can always find a way to make herself stand out. And I like that book. Um, some people might take it as the book is telling you you should fit in and not be like who you are. But I think it's actually saying, um, you can be unique and special and different without maybe over the top. And she still got to wear what she wanted because they, they use clothes as like the outlet. Um, but before she was playing soccer in a sequin dress and then afterwards she was playing soccer in a soccer uniform with a sequin hair bow. So she still was unique and special, but she was able to be a part of the group. And I kind of think that's what I've learned. I used to be really, really, really eccentric. And like in my clothing, and just how everything acted. And then I realized that um, I can still be special and different and still, um, and I don't want to say try so hard, but I don't need people to look at me and think I'm different because I know I am. So if they get to know me, like, I don't know how to explain it, but whatever. So anyways, that's what I'm giving her. And I wrote a letter. Um, it's still a rough draft. I'm not done with it yet. But anyways, so it's a good gift. So yeah, um, I really hope this video matches up. Because I think this is a good video. And Emma gets to be in it. Um, but... Yeah, okay, well, the only way to see if this is going to work is if I stop it and try to upload it. So we'll see. 